What's going on everybody? Uh, you know who it is. It's Kevin with Custom Night Vision. Today is kind of a special day. We've got some visitors in our office from DNT Optics. If you're not aware, we've been selling some of their products on our website already and they've been very popular. Um, they've got some new stuff out and the world famous Nick Chen is here to tell us all about the new products that are being released or have just been released. Um, got some thermals uh, on the table here and he's gonna tell us about them so you so you guys know about the Zulus our digital scope and the Thermite which is the multi-spectral thermal and digital now we offer just a pure thermal it's called the Hydra uh, we have a 640 this is a 384 and then this is a, a 256 so they have different you know price points and different uses but it's just a thermal weapon site but it's a multi-function thermal weapon site it can be standalone uh, it has a good eye relief about 65 millimeter compared to the 45 millimeter on the Therm Knights and the, uh, the Zulus. But it can also have a clip-on mode, which you see kind of set up here. Um, zeroing is a little bit different. If you're using it as a standalone, there's obviously a reticle that's gonna move around. But in clip-on mode, the reticle goes away and you have to physically move the whole image to match what the scope is seeing. Otherwise, you'll have a massive point of aim shift. Um, but just like a RS-25 or any other clip-on, you're gonna yeah, have to zero the that's thermal. That's normal with any clip-on thermal. Uh, if you have an RH25 and you haven't zeroed it, you need to do that. It's probably why you're having problems. So. Exactly. Um, mm. Another thing, this setup right now is just kind of like, not, not a proof of concept, but just a, t a testing setup. So we're using ADM uh, mount and Midwest Industries kind of a little offset and then an ADM riser just to kind of get the height. It's going to come with a bolt-on for standalone thermal weapon site use, but then we are in development with our own QD mount. Uh, that's going to hopefully come out uh, Q1, hopefully. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's going to come already installed, like shredded rock or what? No, I think the QD is going to be offered separately if people okay. want that. As an accessory? Yeah, as an accessory. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of like R25 sells their QDM. Or yeah, the AD. The AD, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We know what you're talking about. Pigtail. Pigtail thing. and yeah. The, yeah, whatever. Um, are these all using the same size objective? No, so the... Right now, this is a 635, it's using a 35 millimeter lens, which gives it a base mag of one and a half X. Okay. So it goes one and a half to six. The 330, um, HS335, the Hydro with the 384, same size lens, and it's gonna get you about a uh, two and a half X. That's base mag. Base mag. And with the 256 one, it's kind of like our Therm Knight. It has a 25 millimeter lens, and it's gonna give you about three X, and then zoom up to uh, 12. So one and a half to six, two and a half to 10, and then three to 12. That base mag uh, is important. If you're not used to, if you're not experienced using thermals, you need to be aware of the base magnification and what that means for um, how usable images are gonna be at different ranges and your field of view. Um, we're not gonna go into that right now, but I'm sure there's a lot of information on the internet already available. Uh, check that out before you make a decision on one of the, I guess, less pixel dense uh, systems. Obviously, we always recommend 640, but for the price point, these uh, 384 and 256 should be very competitive with some of the other stuff on the market. Um, just something to be aware of about base magnifications and the size of objective lenses on thermal devices. It uh, affects how it's going to work or how you can use it pretty substantially. Uh, one of the things I immediately wanted to ask was, what is the magnification range you can use with your day optic uh, through the clip-on thermal? So we recommend lower magnification if you can. Uh, LPVOs are great. I wouldn't go past four. Uh, as you go higher, you'll still see something through the thermal, mm -hmm. but it gets all kind of weird blurry and Pixelated stuff. Pixelated a little bit? No, it's just this weird optical thing. It starts bending light in weird ways. Yeah. Um, you're, you're gonna, the image will look better at lower magnification, so okay. four and under. If you have like a, a MPVO, like two and a half to 10, or two to 10, it'll still work. Just don't crank it all the way to 10 or go higher. Like if you have a four to 16, mm -hmm. it, it can work. It's just not ideal. Um, we've, I put mine uh, in front of a prism, primary mm -hmm. arms prism site, works great, 3X. Um, but LPVOs are kind of like where it shines because you can stay at one and you have a nice clean, clean image. Um, you can zoom in a little bit more just to get a little more, you know, zooming in on the, the thermal image. If you start changing digital zoom in here, don't, don't do that in clip-on mode, then things don't line up right. Um, if you're a standalone weapon site and you start doing digital zoom, 
okay, but you're just making the pixels bigger. You yeah. Just, you're not going to get Yeah, that's something that I, I think not a lot of people are aware of. In most thermals, there are some now that this isn't necessarily the case, but when you do the in optic zoom, it's a digital zoom. So if you have 640 resolution, you go to 2x, it's you're getting half that resolution with the same field of view. So you're essentially just making the pixels larger. It's like zooming in too far on a picture on your phone. The resolution is going to deteriorate. Sometimes that's useful, but very rarely in my, exp my experience using thermals. So just keep that in mind. Some of these thermals will advertise crazy zoom ranges, um, not these, but other ones on the market. And However, we do have what we call super resolution. It's an AI algorithm. It comes from factory, it's already turned on. You can turn it off, but there's no reason you want to turn it off. And what it does is it kind of boosts the image about one and a half times. So on a 256, right, one and a half times, you get about close to a 384. Um, and then the 384 gets bumped up to just under like 600. Um, it makes the image look a lot better. Like we've, we've shown people a 256 with the super resolution on, they, without understanding what's going on, they think, is this a 384? No, it's actually a 256. How does that work? Do you have any idea? It's just magic or? Asian math. A type. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the pricing on these units? Yep. So the 256 is going to start at just $799. Yeah, uh, it's under $1,000. The 384, it's going to start at about $1,200. And the 640, it's going to shock you. It's going to be two grand. That's One, incredible. $1,999. That is... Uh... If you haven't done a whole lot of thermal shopping, uh, go look around because a 640 clip-on a thermal clip -on weapon site is not thermal too weapon site with 640 resolution, you're not getting anywhere close to two grand. So that's very exciting. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit on this super resolution um, sure. moniker, or I don't know what you would call that, but uh, why, why is it beneficial? I've never heard that before. So as I said earlier, the AI algorithm kind of boosts the image. Uh, a little bit. On our 256, yeah, the 256 one, uh, all the way from your base mag of 3X all up to 12X, it's going to boost that image and make it look cleaner and sharper. Um, on the 384, sorry, this is 384, and the 640, it only starts at the higher magnification because 384 and 640 look pretty good when mm -hmm. you're looking through it at, at the base mag. It's only when you start digitally zooming, which we said we don't normally would do that, but now you can. And this is for like handheld or maybe as a stand on the weapon site, you would zoom in a little bit digitally and oh, it's gonna wow. sharpen up that image. So instead of having this kind of blurry blob looking thing, it'll resolve that image and give it a little more, a little more clarity, a little more detail Interesting. at further distances. So that's, a, for somebody like me that's used thermals for a long time, that's kind of a departure from, I guess, the industry standard. Um, that's cool, yeah, thank you for uh, elaborating on that. <laughs> Matt Reinhardt, it's yes. a cool name. Uh, he's gonna talk about the Thermonites. These yes. things are cool. Yeah, so the Thermite has been really popular for us. The 225R has been doing awesome, but we wanted to bring you guys the new iteration, which is the 635 and the 335s. It's going to have some really great, amazing new features. Um, the main thing that you're going to see with these new great features is you're going to have the larger battery tube here. So you're going to have a 21700 instead of the 18650 on the 225R. Uh, another great thing, we changed the zoom, so now it's like a throw lever, like standard magnification wheels to make it easier, especially with gloves, cold weather, you guys are going to have a, a better chance to do that. You're going to have the more compact laser rangefinder, a little bit different button layout here, but um, the biggest thing that you're going to see, you're going to have the better day-night image and you're gonna have the better resolution. The 335 is gonna be awesome. Uh, and then you can bump up to the 640 resolution. Um, the, another sweet thing that you guys have, people that wanna save power in the battery, instead of hitting the power button for the power button to put it in standby mode, you have the option to turn on auto wake. So basically there's an eye sensor right here. If your face is on the screen or looking through it, it'll always be on. As soon as you take it away, it goes, dark into standby. Another great big thing that you're gonna get in these as separated from the 225 is the eye relief. They were 45 millimeters on the 225s and the 335 and the 635 is gonna now be the 65 millimeters. So you can keep your face back a little bit farther. 
Uh, there's also the upgraded screen in here, so you're gonna see a much clearer image inside um, as a great update. And then um, 65 millimeters is 6.5 centimeters. And from what most women have told me, that's huge. So the main thing still, our multispectral is awesome because you get to use the thermal to detect things really fast. And then you could ID it with the, the digital side. So the main thing is you could spot a coyote, you can spot a hog, but can you tell it is a coyote or a hog? Normally with thermals, you have to wait for body language to identify what it is. Doesn't matter what resolution it is. With this, you have a much faster chance. Throw it in digital, you can see what that animal is. Another one of my favorite features on this is the, the thermal zoom lock. I so, thought you were gonna say grappling hook. I wish it had a grappling hook. Dude, I really loved him in Fifth Element when he was selling those guns that were like part of your arm and they had the net that came out of them. You remember that? It's like the same thing. Zorg ZF-1. Yeah, the Zorg ZF-1. This is like the miniature version of that. Voila, the ZF-1. Slide. Handles adjustable for easy carrying. Good for riders and left. It strikes down on four parts. So another great feature that I really like on these is the, the thermal zoom lock. So what happens is you can lock the thermal. It doesn't matter if the thermal's in the main image or in the picture in picture. But while it's in picture in picture, you can still zoom in on your digital side but your thermal image stays locked either at the base magnification or in a one times, it's user choice. So this means while you're zooming in to take the shot on the digital side, you don't lose that field of view on the thermal side, which is a great option. So you could still scan that field and see everything. Another great thing that we also like is we, because you guys are great at what you do and all the time, we can extend the distance on these things with the ballistic calculator and the laser rangefinder you can take these things out to long range now, 700 yards. You put in the math through the app, you put in all your details, scope, height to the top image, from center of the digital to center of bore. You put all that into your app with all the details and the laser rangefinder and ballistics will tell you where you can shoot. Dude, that's a lot of stuff packed into a super affordable optics package. Um, to abbreviate everything you just told you, what this does is it is a thermal optic with a digital night vision optic in it with a laser rangefinder and with a ballistics calculator that you can calibrate to your weapon system with an app. I mean, that's like four different things you would have to buy all in one package for a very competitive price and with an app that I've used that is stable um, and intuitive and easy to use. So. I mean, that's pretty crazy. There's nothing like that on the market right now. So and just keep that in mind when you're digging around, trying to find things to compare this to or learn about it. I mean, that's the long and the short of it. That's a really cool product. So what is this thing? Is this what they come in or? Yeah, so another upgrade for when you get the 335 or the 635, you're gonna get this new hard case that comes with it. Um, when you get it, you're now gonna be able to have this nice layout in here. You're gonna have the two batteries. You're gonna have two mounts now, so you have the zero MOA and then a 20 MOA mount in case nice. you need that extra elevation. Uh, and then the battery charger. Wow, and an eye cup. And the eye cup. Tight. And then you also have your normal oh, cool. flip open cover. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, a lot of thermal companies, uh, I think, skimp on that. It's yeah. nice to have a, a lens nice, protector a nice hard crack on protector, yeah. that expensive germanium objective. So this is a nice addition. All right, so we've talked a lot about these different products. I think the big question most customers are gonna have before they add this to the cart and decide to make that purchase is what kind of warranties can they expect on these devices? So what you're gonna get is we have a program that's, that we're gonna roll out. It's something that's gonna be able to extend these warranties essentially so for the 335Rs and the 635Rs because they're the higher resolution, it'll up your warranty to a five-year warranty. And then even after that warranty, even if you're out of date, for any of our product line, no matter what the warranty is, all you're gonna have to pay is just... Parts and labor? Parts and labor. Okay, and that's it's, awesome. You're still gonna be able to have, we're not gonna leave you hang, got anybody hanging. That's awesome, man. No, that's really good. Um, I think as far as the, the industry goes, that's uh, on par or better than what most people can expect. So um, that's great. Um, did you have anything else you want to talk about? No, it's just the main thing, like, 
you guys have done really well with the 225Rs. It's still a great tool, but being able to go up to these new higher resolution ones is going to really unlock the potential of these things. Tight. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, man. Um, we've used some of the lower res stuff and we're really impressed with it. And some of the demo models that I've seen with the higher resolution sensors are very nice. So um, we're excited to get these in and get them listed and start using them ourselves. I don't have anything else to say, talk about, do you? No. Any these guys in the back? No? All right. No. I think we're gonna close it out. As always, thank you for watching. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. Go down in the comments, same, say something ridiculous. I'll get back to you in a few days. Um, yeah, check out the website. These will be listed soon if they're not listed already. If you have any questions, give us a call. Hit us up on any of the social medias. Thank you. Have a great day.